Eric. Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. Don't be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh... About that... Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred... What? Uh... Two hundred... shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Me neither. I never bring my coin purse with me on a mission. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... <sighs> Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. I thank you. I... But... You'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you, whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way.
This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? Fighting is meaningless. Commencing research. Give up. The truth of life and death, revealed in the sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! Rules are made to be broken! Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Move carefully. Keep catching me up. Don't get cocky. To travel far away. <laughs> Much better. The truth of life and death for the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly. Too late to repent. Another surprise? Another surprise? I think some 
something bit me. Give up. Yeah. Now that's a gold winning victory. This will strengthen our position. <laughs> Strike first! <laughs> Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! <laughs> Small fry. Step out of it. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> the punches decide. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! This is our chance. Commencing research. Here, try this! Keep catching me up. Now we're talking. To travel far away. Try the ball! <laughs> Much better. The truth of life and death. Where the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's go. Another surprise? The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Now that's a gold-winning victory. Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well-preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. We made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. <sighs> no. No. <laughs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't 
don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Move carefully. The truth of life and death. This sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Step out of it! Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Fighting is meaningless. Small fry. Let's go. That was it? Oh, please. You don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. I... found this. Here, take it. What is this? A brooch? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. <sighs> you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Mm... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! And it's barely damaged! Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're... an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... 
Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. No, Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The Architect said that the Guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cacolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the Underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? I, as the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. <laughs> 